So I posted this tweet the other day, and apparently a lot of you are really interested in seeing if Shrek will play on a Game Boy Advance prototype development system slash TS2 board. It is an ultra rare development system. It's the first time I've ever even seen one or learned that it existed. But the important thing that we need to know about it is will it play Shrek. You know, Shrek is it's God's gift to the world. So let's go ahead and, and see if it'll play uh, the Lord's Supper here. It plays and it plays beautifully. No graphical glitches, no hiccups, no nothing. Just clean, crisp Shrek. Now regarding Shark Tale, I didn't test it because I know what you guys are here for. You are here for Shrek. Just for fun, let's go ahead and take another ultra rare, stupidly expensive device and see if Shrek will play on it. This is the Wide Boy 64 AGB by Intelligent Systems. It is a device that allows you to play Game Boy Advance titles on an N64. Nice. It actually works. <laughs> I mean, I guess I didn't think that it wouldn't necessarily, but uh, this is really stupid. But it's good. Wait a minute. So after watching for a couple 30 seconds or so, It just goes to the Intelligent Systems logo. I can pause it. Like the sound pauses. All right, then. Who's but the visual goes away. Okay. I'll tell you. I'm actually recording this before I record my Wide Boy episode, so maybe I just don't know the Wide Boy well enough at this point in time, but if you stop playing, for a couple moments, does it, does the visual go away on a wide boy? Okay, so it like lost sync or something. I tried resetting the N64 and it didn't work. Now I reset it without any game in the wide boy and this is what it gives me. So this seems normal. I'm gonna go ahead and try just a normal game here. See what happens. We're not gonna press anything for a minute. I'm gonna see if it does the same thing that it did with the Shrek, where it just kind of, kind of flatlines, I guess. Okay, so that's about a minute into the main game here. Nothing happened in terms of the wide boy kicking us out back to like a intelligent system splash screen or anything like that. I'm gonna try Shrek one more time. Okay, so let's try watching the movie again. Let's go ahead and start it right from the beginning. Now again, I mean, imagine you're with your friends, you bought a wide boy just for this, you know, a couple grand, you, you picked up the cart, you got your friends over, maybe some people you're trying to impress from work, and then you get that intelligent system splash screen, you know? I mean, it, I don't know. If anyone out there has a wide boy and can test this as well, I would certainly appreciate it. So I shut down the N64, I took out the cartridge, I reseated everything one more time and I'm playing it and I don't see any issues. I think that previous time was just a fluke. So I, I'm gonna give the wide boy a tentative. You should watch Shrek on a wide boy. Uh, tentative. So, you know, if you got the money, definitely spend it. If you don't, you may wanna choose a cheaper alternative for watching Shrek Game Boy Advance video with friends and family.
So thank you all for joining us on this silly little journey. I do wish that John was with us though. Unfortunately, due to the current pandemic, he is not. Uh, he is the one who set us off on this Shrek journey. So I do uh, owe him a debt of gratitude. I will say that uh, he is not with us, not because he's ill, but because due to the pandemic, we are shelter in place and quarantined and he cannot come over. However, uh, I do have his ashes so that'll have to function as a substitute. Again, he's perfectly healthy. We just always have John's ashes on hand. It's a long story. If you've been a fan of the show for a while, you, you know the backstory of this. I'm not going to explain it here. Check out some old videos if you want to know. But aside from that, John, I'm glad you could be with us. John, I'm sad that you can't be with us. We'll see you all next time. Pizza Hut.